friends, welcome to video tutorial of Salesforce Connector for WordPress WooCommerce. This is an amazing extension which integrates between WooCommerce and Salesforce. With the help of this extension, WooCommerce contents get synchronized with Salesforce to give a brand new picture and also manual synchronization of products and orders from Salesforce to WooCommerce is provided. This helps to increase data integrity real-time order synchronization to provide brilliant customer care services to desired level. If we talk about features, it acts as bridge between WooCommerce and Salesforce. It is lightning supported and provides you an interactive design with brilliant user interface. It can process bulk amount of data from WooCommerce to Salesforce and vice versa. It provides you an option to select account syncing type such as sync all contact to single account or sync all contact to individual account. It has option to enable or disable real-time order synchronization. Automatic synchronization of orders from e-commerce to Salesforce at checkout and manual synchronization of Salesforce products and orders to WooCommerce store. So this is all about the functionality and features. So let's proceed to install this application and configure it accordingly to avail the features. From the app exchange, you need to search for eShop Sync for WooCommerce. In the search results, you will find the application. So this is eShop Sync for WooCommerce that we are going to install. Click on it and you will get the application page. So this is our application, eShop Sync for WooCommerce. Click on get it now. It will ask to install in production or sandbox. So choose accordingly. Further, it will provide you information related to this application like package name, version and subscription and all. So just go through it and check mark the terms and conditions and confirm and install. So on the next page, you need to just enter the login credentials of your Salesforce and hit enter. Over here, you need to select install for all users and click on install and it will start the installation process. Further, you need to click on done once it gets completed and it will redirect you to the Salesforce org. So now you will find over here the application that we have installed eShop for WooCommerce. So now we need to update few field level permissions for that specific profile based on the permission that you have uh, granted for the available profiles in your Salesforce org. So let's proceed and update the settings. So from the setup, you need to click on customize. On the arrow icon it will expand and you need to search for accounts click on expand icon and for click on fields so in the fields we need to update the field accessibility of the woo company name here are the custom fields that is created because we have installed the application so it is uh, the required fields that are created so we need to update the field permission of who company first in the account so click on view field accessibility over here you will find that this file this custom field is hidden so you need, you need to just click on system admin on the next of system admin click on hidden and uh, click on visible and click save so now this is visible for all the profiles which is mandatory for the application or the connector to synchronize the data. So as I have done with the accounts fields for just one Wu company name, uh, you need to do the same for orders and the products. So over here you will find all the order fields for eShops and for WooCommerce. You need to click on the field label and uh, update the field accessibility in the same way for all the fields available over here. And for the same for products. If you 
search for product fields. So all the fields available for products for each option for WooCommerce, you need to just update the field access field. Once you update all the field accessibility for uh, accounts, products, and orders, now we need to generate a WSDL file that helps to integrate the data from WooCommerce and Salesforce. So in the user guide, over here, once you click on user guide, you will get a blog like this, in which uh, you will get a link to generate the WSDL file. Uh, that you will guide the steps for the same so you will need to proceed with the steps mentioned over here to generate the WSDL file so let's proceed to generate the WSDL file and save it once you generate the WSDL file let's proceed to install the Salesforce WooCommerce connector in the WordPress end so we are in WordPress end when we need to click on plugins add new and uh, load plugin you need to choose the zip file that you will receive once you purchase the connector and install it it will start the installation process and uh, once it gets completed you need to activate the plugin as soon as it gets activated you will get a WWS connector option over here like this so now this is the connector that we are going to configure so click on settings so this will be the interface and over here we have two sections uh, what one is for WooCommerce connector configuration that requires username, password, and security token of Salesforce. And uh, the another one that is WooCommerce syncing settings. Over here, you have two options. You can select sync all contact to an individual account or sync all contact to single account. So I'll explain all the functionality of these options. And uh, once you select sync all contact to single account, in Salesforce in so you need to provide the account ID of that specific account and uh, for Salesforce guest account it will store the information of all the guest users so further you have option to enable or disable the auto synchronization of orders and the WSDL file that we need to upload from here so let's proceed to upload the WSDL file first so click on upload new WSDL and choose the file from your system location and click on use original file name and click add new WSDL. So you will find a confirmation that it has been uploaded successfully. So you need to select the file from the drop down and click on save changes. So now you need to proceed and fill the information for Salesforce login credentials and security token. So for the WooCommerce syncing settings, I'll explain the functionality of the second option first, the sync all contact to single account and later I will explain the functionality of the individual account. So uh, as I have selected for single account, so I need to provide a Salesforce main account ID. The account ID in which all the users will be stored as a contact and all the information related to that contact will be stored accordingly so and in our salesforce org i have created one account as woocommerce so this is woocommerce account so i need to copy the 15 digit id from the address bar after salesforce.com or slash and uh, paste over here and further for the Salesforce guest account ID, I have created one account for guest user account. So all the guest user checkouts will be stored in this specific account. So in the same way, I'll just copy the account ID from the top and click on guest account ID and paste it over. And I have selected uh, the functionality of 
auto order synchronization now as i have filled all the information so click on save changes you will get a confirmation when it gets successfully connected further you will get two options first to choose the document folder in which all the images of your products and categories will be stored so in your salesforce all the available folders will be displayed in this drop down so i'm going to select eShop sync and also the price book option so you can opt for any price book which is available in the salesforce will be displayed over here in the drop down so i'm selecting c and as per your choice now click on save changes so everything is updated successfully so now i have configured the connector now i need to proceed and synchronize the details of wordpress to salesforce so first i need to synchronize users then categories then products and then orders this is the pattern that we need to follow so let's proceed to synchronize users first click on synchronize users so now i have few users over here four users so synchronize click on synchronize users and it will start the synchronization process as you can see that it has been one user has been added and all the salesforce user id will be generated accordingly once it gets successfully added or synchronized i'll verify the same in the salesforce end so you can find that the it has been successfully synchronized to the salesforce for users so let's proceed in the salesforce in the classic view we are going to verify so we need to first refresh the page so in the app menu you will find eShop sync for WooCommerce over here you need to click on WooCommerce Salesforce and you will get the starting page of Salesforce WooCommerce so this is so as I have synchronized users so they will be stored as a contact in that specific account if they are registered users so now let's proceed to the customers in customer sections you will find all the accounts available over here that is synchronized from your wordpress and also available in your salesforce so i have the list of accounts so as all are the registered users so i'm just clicking on woocommerce i'm, I'm verifying that the contacts you will find that the four contacts has been synchronized from the wordpress to the salesforce so this is working fine let's proceed to synchronize categories click on synchronize categories so i have seven items over here so we have few functionality like uh, you can click on synchronize users this will synchronize the all the categories available over here and also it will export and import the categories from like if you click on export categories if it will just export the details from wordpress to salesforce and if you click on import categories it will import the details of the categories available in your salesforce to wordpress and also in the drop down you can uh, like if you want to select just one category so you can just check market and from the drop down you need to select the export selected categories and apply so this is for just for a specific category so i'm just selecting for the bulk actions and i'm selecting all the categories and clicking on synchronize categories it will start the synchronization process it might be possible that you will receive few errors so in the runtime i'm just um, just verifying and also i'll provide the resolution for this so that it might be possible that in future you will receive few errors related to that that like uh, the pull the s object that woocommerce count categories it's not supported so let's verify and resolve this 
So if, if you experience any issue related to any uh, WooCommerce categories object not found, so for that, after the configuration of all the things, if you experience any such issues, first of all, you need to verify that all the fields available for account, products and orders are updated with the accessibility and they are visible. And further, you need to generate the updated WSDL file for the same as I have done the same and updated the new WSDL file over here and click on save. Further, we will proceed to synchronize categories. And now I'm just going to select all and synchronize categories. So it will start the synchronization process. So you can see that the it has been processed and within few minutes it will be done. So within few minutes it will be done and you can see that the few categories has been exported that are available in your WordPress in the seven items, the seven categories available over here has been successfully synchronized and uh, further the import process will be um, like in the parallel it will be done. So now we will proceed in Salesforce org to verify that we have seven categories synchronized or not. So in categories over here you need to proceed to select the number of records per page to 10 and over here you will verify that the we have seven records so it's working fine and uh, you can search for any category from here and uh, you can update the number of records per page or you can map um, the categories over here as per your requirement so let's proceed to synchronize orders sorry First, we will proceed after categories, we will proceed further for products, then orders. So, over here, we have few options. Like, we can synchronize all products that will export and import the products. And uh, further, in import products from the Salesforce, we have few limitations added over here. If you want to add any limitation for the import process, so you can add the functionality from here. And also for any specific product you can select the product and uh, export the selected product specifically by just clicking on apply so this is the functionality so let's proceed to synchronize all products click on synchronize all products it will be done within a few minutes as the synchronization has been done for products so let's verify the same as we have 34 items over here that has been synchronized to Salesforce so click on products and uh, extend the records per page up to 50 so that we can get all the products over here so over here you will find all the products that have been synchronized and you can also verify the number of records is 34 that has been synchronized from the WordPress end. So this is all about the synchronization part of products. So over here you have the functionality like uh, you can filter the details with the category voice. You can view the details of t-shirts and all the available categories available in the drop down. And also you can see the details with the help of the price books as well. It will display the details, the price book that you have selected and the word percent accordingly. So this is all about the synchronization of products. Let's verify for orders now. So over here we have few functionality like uh, it will display the details of all the orders and synced items unsynced items and errors in order sync if you experience any error it will reflect the number of errors over here and uh, then you can just verify the root cause and you will the display of the uh, the error details will be displayed over here along with this icon so you will find the details of the error and you can just resolve the issue accordingly however 
uh, let's proceed to synchronize the orders and further to verify the same if we experience any issue. As we have two orders over here. If it is synchronized successfully, so you will get a tick mark. And if there is any issue, then it's a cross with the red icon you will find and you can resolve the issue accordingly. What the details is mentioned in the error code, you will verify the same. So if you are syncing any orders, if you have like 500 or thousands orders, or then you can just select these specific orders in the same way if you want to sync the specific one and select the export selected orders as well. And if you just want to synchronize the unsynced orders, then you need to just uncheck all of them and just check more of the unsynced items. So it will display the unsynced items in the list below. And accordingly, you just need to just select the unsynced items and click on bulk action and apply. So it will work like this. So as we have synchronized two orders, so let's verify in the Salesforce org. So over here you will find the order number that is who order ID that is over here this is the who order ID and uh, the account the consent account one order is for WooCommerce and was is for the guest user account and the status of the order and the purchased items as well you can verify and the total amount so also, there is a few functionality you can search for only Salesforce orders and the WooCommerce orders that has been synchronized from WooCommerce. So this is all about the functionality of uh, the synchronization process of the users, categories, products and orders. And if we talk about document section, so we have uh, the functionality to just verify the folder in which we have saved or stored the images of the products and categories is eShop sync so we need to select that folder and you can get all the images of that specific products over here you can verify and in the lead section you will find all the leads available in your salesforce that will be displayed over here so this is the interface and the functionality of the salesforce woocommerce in classic view so in order to proceed with the lightning view, first we need to register your domain first. Like this blog will guide your steps to register your domain. And once you just register your domain, we need to update few settings and need to verify few permissions in the profiles. So from here, you need to go to manage users and profiles so for this specific profile you can select any profile and you can verify the tabs you can click on edit and you need to verify the custom tabs that should be default on like eShop categories and the all the products sorry all the tabs related to WooCommerce should be default on so as you can see all the custom tabs are default on over here so you need to make sure about it so that it will be displayed in the lightning end so you need to verify for it and also over here you need to for the custom object permission you need to verify for WooCommerce categories and all the things related to WooCommerce are checked more if it is all okay then you need to just click cancel and uh, we will switch in the lightning view so from the drop down itself click on switch to lightning experience okay. 
So from here, you need to click on WooCommerce Salesforce tab and you will get the same interface that you noticed in the classic view and rest all will be same like the leads that are available in your Salesforce products you can just extend the number of records per page and categories orders customers so everything will be as it is so it is provided in the lightning view as well and you can avail the services and functionality in lightning experience as well and now let's proceed to verify for the the settings for the salesforce one mobile app so that you can avail the services in this mobile as well so in order to add the tabs uh, for the salesforce mobile one functionality we need to search for salesforce one navigation click on salesforce one navigation and you need to just select all the tabs relate to e-shopping for WooCommerce and add to the selected list further you can customize the position of the tabs for the view in your Salesforce One mobile app and click on save so this is all about the like functionality in classic view lightning and Salesforce One configuration and all and also i have explained all the steps for the configuration of the connector at the wordpress in and explained step for synchronization of users categories products and orders so now the another option if we talk about the sync all contact to individual account if you select this option then you need not to provide any account id in which uh, the all the users will be stored as contact in this functionality all the registered users will be assigned an account and under that account they will be stored as a contact so you need not to mention any account id for that specific one all the users will be stored as an individual account and as a contact in the scene so this is all about the uh, second functionality of the synchronization of users as a contact and if you select this option you need to select that and click on save changes and it will synchronize accordingly in the user guide you can go through the guide to get the features of this application and also you can find the configuration of the connector over here in the view of the application in the Salesforce end for lightning configuration and the salesforce one mobile configuration and the classic value if you have any issue you just need to create a ticket on this mentioned link and we will get back to you accordingly to resolve your issue so also you will get the link that is helpful for you in order to generate wsdl file and registering your domain you will get all the plots and links over here so this is all about the functionality and the features of this application and if you if you will just purchase this application you will get all the required file that is needed for the installation of that connector at wordpress and and everything so this is all about the functionality of this application so thanks a lot for your time and thanks a lot for watching this video hope you like it thank you have a great day